So one of the things I want to share with you guys today is a really cool command line utility called pgrip. And pgrip is especially useful if you want to search or if an application is running. If it's running on your system, pgrip will let you know it's running. It will actually give you the process ID of that application that's running. And then you can do some really neat things. What I did with pgrip was I created a simple script to toggle on and off a particular program. In my case, I've been working on DTOS, which is my Arch Linux based distribution. I've been building ISOs for it recently. And one of the things I wanted was the ability to toggle on and off Conky because sometimes people don't want to see the Conky. Just kill it, right? If it's running or start it if it's not running. Or sometimes if you change the screen resolution, the Conky will be in a weird place. So you want to toggle that one off and then toggle it back on so it'll be back in its rightful area on the screen. So I have this binded to super shift T that ran the script to toggle the conky off if it's running. If I do super shift T again, if it's not running, it actually runs conky. So the way this script was designed, it is using the uh, pgrep command. So let me open a terminal. Let me zoom way in. Let me clear the screen. If you're unfamiliar with pgrep, uh, as the name implies, grep, you know, it's searching for a string, right? But pgrep is a, a process grep. It is searching all of the processes that are running on your computer for a particular string. For example, pgrep conky. Conky is currently running. If I move this window, you know, conky's running and it found a process that had conky as part of the name, right? And that is the ID. And from here, you know, on your Linux system, if you wanted to kill that process you would just kill and you could give it this process ID I'll just super shift C to copy super shift V to paste in the terminal and that conky went away now if you want the ability to toggle on and off certain programs what you could do is you could pgrep for a particular program that's running and if it's running you kill it and if it's not running you start it. You know, basically, you can think of it as a if then else kind of statement, or uh, basically, uh, well, you can use the or operator in bash scripting. So, if you wanted to script this, how you would do it is I would do something. Let's say I'm writing a script specifically to toggle conky on and off. I would do a pgrep conky, check if conky is running, and if it is, then I want you to kill all conky. So, if this returns an ID, that means conky is running, and then it will do the next part, you know, after the two ampersigns. So pgrep conky and and kill conky. Now, if there is no conky running, pgrep is going to fill. So then we need to give it a or statement. So pgrep and kill all conky, or do something else such as just run conky, right? That's, that's really all this is this toggle on and off. And I could show you this in effect on a different program. Let me use, oh, I'm not gonna use the Alacrity terminal because I'm in it, but I could use, I know I have the XFCE4 terminal on my system. So let's pgrep the XFCE4 terminal. And if it's running, let's go ahead and kill all the instances of XFCE4 terminal. If it's not running though, then let's do the uh, XFCE4 terminal, let's just launch it. If I did this correctly and I run this command, the XFC4 terminal's not running right now, so it should just launch it, which it did. Now, if I open a new terminal and let me up arrow and run that same command again, it's going to check, is there a process called XFCE4 terminal? If there is, it'll kill it. So that's basically our toggle on and off, in that case, for the XFCE4 terminal. So I created this script specifically for Conky. I'll actually show you the script if I go into, um, I've got the script in, dot local bin, I called it Conky dash toggle. And basically I set a variable for the location to my specific Conky config, but it's essentially pgrep Conky. Uh, I, I send the output to slash dev slash null because you don't need to see the output from the pgrep command. And, you know, it's the ID. In order to turn the ID, I don't need to see that if I'm running this at the terminal. And, and kill all Conky or run the Conky dash C for a specific config, my config. So very, very easy script. Now, if I wanted to, you know, do something where maybe I could give user input on the specific program I wanted to toggle. Let's create a new program. How about I vim 
toggle. We'll just call the script toggle. And let's go ahead and create the shebang. So uh, crunch bang and then slash user slash bin slash env space bash. So that's the bash shebang because it's a bash script. And why don't we just let the user input what they want to toggle on and off. So in this case, let's do a pgrep and then do dollar sign one for user input, the first user input, the value that he enters. And then we do the and and kill all dollar sign one or run dollar sign one. So you guys see what this is going to do. Let me write and quit out of that. Let's go ahead and make this executable. So I'm going to go ahead and make executable toggle here. Let me go ahead and move toggle into dot local bin toggle that way I don't have to do the dot slash because local bin is in my path so now I can just type the command toggle and remember this script expects you to input what you want to toggle on and off so let's do the xfce for terminal if it's running it'll start it now let me do another terminal and once again toggle xfce for terminal and it toggles it back off. Of course, I could have done anything here. I could toggle Alacrity, which is gonna kill both these terminals. And if I wanted to do it again, it'll kill that terminal, right? I'm just gonna keep killing the same uh, terminals over and over again. But that's a, you know, a really neat little script that allows you to specify exactly the program you wanna to toggle. For example, Firefox. It's not currently running. I know it's installed on the system, so it toggled it on. If I open another terminal and run the command toggle Firefox, of course, now it toggles it back off and basically it just kills. Um, so pgrep, really neat command. pgrep is, this, again, essentially searching for a process. It's very similar to something like ps, the, the process command, which you typically run with AUX flags, you know, list all your processes. You get the name, you get the process ID. Typically, you would do something like grep conky, which the conky is still running in the background here. Actually, no, it's not. It's actually, that's the process for this process I just ran. So let me super shift T to toggle the conky back on. I'll up arrow, run that process again. And now, yeah, so this is actually the grip command that had conky as part of the string. This is actually the conky itself, and that is the ID. You know, pgrip just simplifies this a little bit, right? Instead of having to PS, AUX, and then pipe into grip, you know, grip is just part of the command. So there you have it, a little bit about the pgrip command and uh, a little bit of some of the magic you can do with some simple bash scripting, right? That's a serious one line of code. You know, a very simple script. Anybody can write that script, modify it to do whatever it is you need to do with whatever whatever programs you're trying to toggle on and off or whatever it is you need to do. You know, very easy to work with this stuff. Uh, some of this stuff I know sometimes if you're new to Linux, new to the command line, new to all these shell utilities, some of this stuff can seem overwhelming. But once you learn a little bit about this stuff, you know, it's pretty simple to work with and modify it to exactly what you need to do on your system. Now, before I go, I need to thank a few special people. I need to thank the producers of this episode. Matt Steve, 40 millimeter, Cap Caveman, Darloff Lee, Jersey Killer, Mark, Methos, Uryan, Paul, Peace, Arch, Medora, Realities for Less, Red Prophet, Roland, War Chintun, Ubuntu, and Willie. These guys, they're my highest tiered patrons over on Patreon. Without these guys, this quick look at the pgrep command would not have been possible. The show's also brought to you by each and every one of these fine ladies and gentlemen. All these names you're seeing on the screen right now, these are all my supporters over on Patreon because I don't have any corporate sponsors. I'm sponsored by you guys, the community. If you like my work, want to see more videos about Linux and free and open source software, subscribe to DistroTube over on Patreon. Peace, guys.